ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय वेलकम ऑल टू टुडे रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत वी बीन रीडिंग फ्रॉम चैप्टर फोर ऑफ द मध्य लीला एंड वी शैल बी कंटिन्यूइंग अवर रीडिंग फ्रॉम वर्स नंबर वन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी फोर मुखम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लंघयते गिरिम यत कृपा तमहम वंदे श्री गुरुम दीन तारिणम परमानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वरम हरि ओम तत्सम यान्र लागी गोपीनाथ क्षीर कैला चुरी अत एव नाम हैला क्षीर चोरा करी ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ माधवेंद्र पुरी लॉर्ड गोपीनाथ स्टोल द पॉट ऑफ स्वीट राइस दस ही बिकेम फेमस एज क्षीर चोर द थीफ हु स्टोल द स्वीट राइस कर्पूर चंदन यान्र अंगे चढ़ाईला आनंदे पुरी गोसानीर प्रेम उठाई लीला उठा लीला माधवेंद्र पुरी स्मेर द सैंडलवुड पल्प ओवर द बॉडी ऑफ गोपीनाथ एंड इन दिस वे ही वॉज ओवर पावर्ड विद द लव ऑफ गॉड हेड वर्ष नंबर वन सेवन सिक्स म्लेच्छा देशे देश कर्पूर चंदन आनीते जंजाल पुरी दुख पाए इहा जानिया गोपाल इन द प्रोविंस प्रोविंस ऑफ इंडिया गवर्न बाय द मुस्लिम देर वॉज मच इनकन्वीनियंस इन ट्रेवलिंग विद सैंडलवुड एंड कैम्फर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस माधवेंद्र पुरी माइट हैव गॉट एन इन टू ट्रेवल दिस बिकेम नोन टू द गोपाल डेटी वर्ष वन सेवन सेवन महादया महा माया प्र, माया प्रभु भक्त वत्सल चंदन परी भक्त श्रम करीला सफल द लॉर्ड इज वेरी मर्सिफुल एंड अटैच टू हिज डिवोटी सो वेन गोपीनाथ वॉज कवर्ड विद सैंडलवुड पल्प माधवेंद्र पुरी इज लेबर बिकेम सक्सेसफुल वर्ष वन सेवन एट पुरी प्रेम पराकाष्ठ कर विचार अलौकिक प्रेम प्रेम चित्ते लागे चमत्कार चैतन्य महाप्रभु प्लेस द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ माधवेंद्र पुरीज इंटेंस लव बिफोर नित्यानंद प्रभु फॉर जजमेंट ऑल हिज लविंग एक्टिविटीज आर अनकॉमन चैतन्य महाप्रभु सेड इन डीड वन इज स्ट्रक विद वंडर टू हेयर ऑफ हिज एक्टिविटीज हर्पर्ट महेश डिवाइन ग्रेस शिला प्रभुपाद प्रभुपाद की जय वेन द लिविंग एंटिटी feel spiritual separation from krishna that is the krishna viraha he has achieved the prime success of life when one becomes disinterested in material things he is simply experiencing the other side of attraction for material things however feeling separation from krishna and engaging in the service of the lord to fulfill his mission constitute the best example of love of krishna Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to point out this intense love of Krishna exhibited by Madhavendra Puri all Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's devotees later followed in the footsteps of Madhavendra Puri serving the lord with personal considerations verse 179 parama virakta moni sarvatra udasina gramya varta bhaye dvitiya sang heen Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued Shri Madhavendra Puri used to remain alone he was completely renounced and always very silent he was uninterested in everything material and for fear of talking about mundane things he always lived without a companion verse number 180 hena jana gopalera ajna mrita paina sahasra krosha asi bole chandan magina After receiving the transcendental orders of Gopal the great personality traveled thousands of miles just to collect sandalwood for by begging verse 181 bhukhe rahe tabu anna magina na khaya he na jana chandan bhar wahi lena yaya all the madhavendra puri was hungry he would not beg food to eat this renounced person carried a load of sandalwood for the sake of shri gopal verse 182 maneka chandan tola visheka karpura 
Vupale Paraipa e Ananda Prachura. Without considering his personal comforts, Madhavendra Puri carried one mound, which is about 82 pounds of sandalwood and 20 tolas, about 8 ounces of camphor to smear over the body of Gopal. This transcendental pleasure was sufficient for him. Verse 183 Utkalera Dani Rakhe Chandan Dekina Tahan Edaila Raj Patra Dekhaina. Since there were restrictions against taking the sandalwood out of the Orissa province, the toll official confiscated the stock, but Madhavendra Puri showed him the release papers given by government and consequently escaped difficulties. Verse 184 Mlecha Desha Dura Patha Jagati Apar Ke Mate Chandan Niba Nahi Evichar. Madhavendra Puri was not at all anxious during the long journey to Vrindavan through the provinces governed by the Muslims and filled with unlimited numbers of watchmen. Verse 185 Sange Eka Vata Nahi Ghati Dana Dite Tathapi Utsaha Bada Chandan Lena Yaite. Although Madhavendra Puri did not have a farthing with him, he was not afraid to pass by the toll officers. His only enjoyment was in carrying the head of load of sandalwood to Vrindavan for Gopal. Verse 186 Pragar Premera E Swabhav Achar Nich Dukha Vignadir Nakare Vichar. This is the natural result of intense love of Godhead. The devotee does not consider personal inconveniences or impediments. In all circumstances, he wants to serve the Supreme Personality of Godhead purport. It is natural for those who have developed intense love for Krishna not to care for personal inconvenience and impediments. Such devotees are simply determined to execute the order of the Supreme Personality of Godhead or his representative. The spiritual master in all circumstances, even amidst the greatest dangers, they undeviatingly carry on with the greatest determination. This definitely proves the intense love of the servitor, as stated in Srimad Bhagavatam. 10th Canto, 14th Chapter, Verse 8 Tatte Anukampam Su Samiksha Manaha Those who seriously desire to get free from the clutches of material existence who have developed intense love for Krishna are worthy candidates for going back home, back to Godhead. An intense lover of Krishna does not care for any number of material discomforts, scarcity, impediments or unhappiness. It is said that when one, when one sees apparent unhappiness or distress in a perfect Vaishnava, it is not at all unhappiness for him, rather it is transcendental bliss in the Shikshashtaka. Eighth verse, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has also instructed, Ashlishya Vapad Vratam Pinashtu Maam. The intense lover of Krishna is never deviated from his service, despite all difficulties and impediments brought before him. Verse 187, Eitar Gada Prema Loke Dikhaite Gopal Tandre Archna Dila Chandan Anite. Shri Gopal wanted to show how intensely Madhavendra Puri loved Krishna. Therefore, he asked him to go to Nilachal to fetch sandalwood and camphor. <clears throat> Verse 188 Bahu Parishrame Chandan Remuna Anila Ananda Badila Mane Dukhna Ganila. Ganila. With great trouble and after much labor, Madhavendra Puri brought the load of sandalwood to Remuna. However, he was still very pleased. He discounted all the difficulties. Verse 189. Pariksha Karite Gopal Kaila Ajna Dana Pariksha Kariya Shesh Haila Dayavan. To test the intense love of Madhavendra Puri, Gopal, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, ordered him to bring sandalwood from Nilachal and when Madhavendra Puri passed his, this examination, 
the Lord became very merciful to him. Verse 119, Ay bhakti bhakti priya krishna vyavahar buji teyu ama sabar nahi adhikar. Such behavior exhibited in loving service between the devotee and the devotee's lovable object Sri Krishna is transcendental. It is not possible for a common man to understand. Common men do not even have the capacity. Verse 191. Bali Pare Prabhu Tanra Krita Shloka Ye Shloka Chandre Jagat Kariyache Aloka. After saying this, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu read the famous verse of Madhavendra Puri. That verse is just like the moon. It has spread illumination all over the world. Verse 192. Ghasite ghasite yaiche malayaje sar gandha bade taiche e shlokera vichar. Continuously rubbing increases the aroma of malay sandal, sandalwood. Similarly, consideration of this verse increases one's understanding of its importance. So we have been reading about Madhavendra Puri's uh, intense love for Krishna and how the Gopal deity has been making him instrument how to serve Lord Krishna. So the intense desire of the devotee is fulfilled by Krishna. We have to be very careful what we desire in our life because Krishna fulfills all desires, good or bad. And we have to be very, very careful what prayers to ask for. Since last time we did the reading of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita by Kaviraj Goswami, we, we've had uh, Narsimha Chaturdashi and I'm sure you all have enjoyed the Narsimha appearance day. And it's one of the most blissful festivals for all the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. We always pray to that form of Vish Lord Vishnu, Narsimha Dev, who vanquished the demon Hiranyakashipu, to whom Lord Prahlad, Bhakta Prahlad, said his prayers. So. And today is also Apra Kadashi. I hope you all having good chanting, good reading and good association of the lectures in your temples, at home or wherever you are. I wish you all a very blissful day. Thank you for joining. Hare Krishna.